Welcome everybody to the Saturday night. You know, we're, we're back again and we've got a special treat for you tonight. I'm joined tonight by my, my friend Drew yes. and Drina and from Drew's Paranormal Vlog. And we're going to be talking about witchcraft and we're going to be talking about how the witches were, what would you say, treated long mm. ago. The best thing yeah. is, half of them weren't even witches. Half of them were just normal people that was getting accused of crazy yes. things. But we'll get into that shortly. But first, I need to say to some people in the chat who we've got there, Mike, the Naked Bigfoot. Guys, please go and visit Mike's channel. Amazing channel. Please go and give Mike, the Naked Bigfoot, a big subscribe. Because he's nearly at 100 subscribers. I think he's only like three subscribers off of 100. So let's get him there tonight, Mike, the Naked Bigfoot. And that's in the podcast form too. If you're watching this, go on to YouTube and give Mike the Naked Bigfoot a subscribe. He, who else we got there? Facebook user. Greetings from Canada. Hello, Canada! Hello. There, you are. there you go. See, it's amazing technology. Who else have we got there? Parapost Network. Hey, Parapost Network. Um, yeah, so tonight's going to be really good. So, Drew, what do you want to start off first with? What? Oh. I don't even know where to start. That's the truth. I mean, do you want to start? Do you, do you want to start with the witch trials in Scotland and how they used to treat witches, or well, yes. suspected witches? Because let's face it, a lot of the witches that were murdered weren't they actually or executed? I should say, weren't they actually witches? They were just. <sighs> Crimes, really. You know, you don't sleep with the mayor of the village, you know, you dragged off and burnt at the stake. A lot of these people were only young girls, and that's the proof. And I think way back in the day when this was all happening, as you know, a lot of people were alcoholics and things. That was all they had the money for, was to top up on beer and things or whiskey, because that was what basically gave them a life, guys, away back then. Food was expensive and things, so... A lot of people lived in the local taverns, and I think a lot of these young girls, they were like had mental health problems. Maybe even some of them were a bit bed hoppers. It, but it's it's not just that, right? I mean, I've downloaded some pictures, guys. Right, so I'm going to show you some pictures here, and Drew will maybe explain what's actually happening in these yeah. pictures. Now, I'll leave the monument to last. That's that's the kind of Scottish monuments running about here. But let's kind of go. This is an early illustration from, I would say, the 1400s, around about then. So we've got... I what mean, this is... This, right, you've got the witches. You've got the witches in the background playing with their bubbling cauldron. And this is how... Like, you've got to get into the mindset of people. You've got to remember, like, the... Let's just say the 1400s, right? People thought the demon before the the yes. witch trial started in Scotland. Well, Chris, and I think this is where this yeah. is roughly coming from. Is the yes. history book the way back then? I have. I mean, there's a lot tells you a lot about this. Um, this te- this picture tells you a lot, right? So if you look at it, you've got obviously that's meant to be the witches with a cauldron, right? Mm-hmm. Then you've got the you've got a tree with a demon coming out here, which I find quite interesting. Yeah, you know. But here, look, this is the kind of thing 
this is how people in the days portrayed, um, what can I say, women or witches, you know, of the Wicca, you know what I'm trying to say. And people thought that Wicca was a terrible, dangerous you were you were in with it. You were in with the Alzheimer's and you were cursing everybody and you were going to burn them. Mm. I learned an interesting fact: a lot of the Wicca drew, and then I let you take over. Yeah. Was a lot of people healers and yes, healed people. Of course, uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. There's that's that's the reason that I think that witchcraft got brought to the forefront in the first place. Uh, yeah. Way back, I don't even know where started first. To be honest, where the rumours and that all started, but a lot of the times people couldn't explain like why this lady could come to your home and help you. The, the story that I heard that really that really annoyed me was the kings. Yeah. There was kings and queens of Britain. It probably happened all over the world, to be honest, where they would call in these ladies and things that was known healers. Yeah. Most a lot of them was for gout. Yes, I know. Rich living. Yeah. Right. Used to rich mean, loving guys, that's it. And then it, they would get burnt at the stake three and four days later, get put on trial because people yeah. in the local community was accusing them. Uh, basically, they didn't like the king giving them a bit of gold. So they would go into yeah. these local taverns, flash the money around, or in the local markets, and they would have to explain that they helped the king, and people would get jealous. That's yeah. the way I conceive it. And that is the only reason that they did this. And to get revenge on a lot of them, they would put their names in to the local churches or drop it in the ear of somebody they knew that had a grudge against witches. And, oh, and these poor girls were getting... And a lot of them were, <clears throat> were well-established people in the community who had yes. helped people give birth through generations and generations and because of one jealous person, a couple of people that get the rumours in their ear, these poor girls yeah. and things were took away and killed, guys. And I they just, were just jealous of. I mean, I watched a programme the other night, it was on YouTube, and it was about, this is going over to the United States side of things, and it was when the pilgrims first went to the, the United States, you have no idea the amount of women that were executed. Oh, she's a witch. She's a witch. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the the mayor of the town would take a fancy to a girl, right? Mm -hmm. And behind his wife's back. And if she had refused, she was accused of being a witch. And she yeah. was drowned or burnt at the stake. I mean, how many different ways, Drew, would you say they were killed? Oh, wow. I mean, you've got the, the duke in test, as in the, duke, right. the ladies in the water. And if they survive, yeah. the witches, if they don't survive, oh, uh oh, <laughs> you know. I know. I'm... I mean, the the way that they tortured the girls first of all, they tortured them in a way that they would pull their fingernails and things off. If that didn't work, they would pull their eyelashes and things out. They would start putting cockroaches and things in their ears, leeches and things, things like that. They would insert things up inside them. Loads of crazy, disgusting things. And then if these girls. I mean, pure torture. I'm quite sure I would admit to go. Well, I'm a witch anyway, but I way back then I would have admitted to being a witch just for the torture to stop. You know, right. I mean that that case I shared on my channel the other day. There, I gave yeah. it for an example. I've not got my notes beside me to tell your name, but um, this girl had basically been like the town drunk. This was in Lanark, guys, right? Yes. She was basically the town drunk, and she would go out onto the street beg for pennies and things to go back to the tavern to get more beer and things. But what had happened to this girl was she had went out and begged for a penny. The people that she was begging the penny off of, the ladies of the town, if you like, the ones that walk about with their nice big hats on and their beautiful dresses, maybe taffeta and things, they had never been spoke to in a way. This girl spoke to them. Basically, when they refused her a penny, the girl gave them their character. She basically shouted at them, swore at them, brought yeah. them down to an inch size. and Because these ladies had never been spoken to like that before, one fainted. One, yeah. Then the other one went to her husband, who so happened to be, I think he was a minister or a school teacher or something, went back and reported this girl to him, who then went on and, and reported them to the local 
think it was Chafton or something you yeah. called them away back then. No. And them in turn would go to the local authorities. And this poor girl got tortured for three days. Three days. And because she was laughing yeah. at them, and basically she was laughing at them in drunken belligerent, I would say, yeah. the crime to be this day. But because she did that for a couple of days, and basically our... our what do you call it when you're, you're all go, you're t- but with men it's testosterone and things, it keeps them yeah. going, keeps them thriving. Because that mm. was so high with the torture, they accused the girl of being a witch. And th- th- that girl went through three days of torture and then she got burnt at the stake. And because the girl was still like, not admitting to any of the crimes that mm. she did and basically just sticking up for herself, guys, that's what she was doing, just sticking up for herself and didn't want to be treated in a way where these ladies thought they were better than her. And it, she, got she got murdered for it. It's... She did try and take 16 other people with her through the local town, but, but I can see her really no. thinking. <clears throat> Because she's obviously thinking to herself, well, if I'm getting accused of being a witch, all I've done is the mm. same as these people in the local tavern. So if I'm a witch, they're a witch, and she threw all their names under the bus. It's, uh, you, you think about it, Drew. You think about the, the amount of witches over the years, and just in Scotland that's been murdered. Mm-hmm. Thousands. Thousands. Yeah, I mean... I watched quite a lot of the history things and that, and I was watching a thing about this. See, when the Black Death was doing its rounds, right? A lot of people thought it was it was witchcraft that caused this. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I'm serious. I'm serious here. The people that's listening to this, it's the thought: oh, that person's a witch. It's caused the Black Death. Let's let's burn her at the stake. Well, I mean, uh-huh. it, it's it's absolutely ridiculous, and that's an interesting thing you were talking about, Drew, in your channel. Remember that article that I sent is. Sent you, could you maybe tell them about that? It's about how they want to uh, the Scottish government. Yeah, what up. they've done is, guys, there's been two ladies. I would love to tell you their names to give them the justice for it. And I maybe even put it in the comments of this after it because they did deserve a lot of recognition for what they've done. They've basically went back into the history books and they've went through all the witch trials of Scotland and they've took down a note of everybody's names. They went to the local government and Nicola Surgeon, who is our She's not a prime minister, she's what first minister you call her. Ah, it's her first she's minister. gave them all a pardon. She's apologised to all the yeah. ladies and gentlemen that's actually died through these trials and she's gave them like a pardon. She's erecting like local uh, monuments and things in your area. So if if we can prove that people in our area was killed for being witches, then basically we can get a monument and things put up for them. So we're going, I'm going to try with a couple of other people that I know is interested around in it, unless me he go, because I'm going to try our hardest to figure out if there is anybody in this area that got murdered. Yes. Because basically they were murdered because you, of being accused of being witches. You actually brought up a good point there, Drew. It's not just women no. that were accused of witchcraft. It's men. Now, I've got a picture in yes. here somewhere. Where are you? I think this is it. Here, is this it? And as you can uh-huh. clearly see there, you can see the the man next to the woman. Now, men were also accused of witchcraft. This is going back, if you look at their suits, this is probably going back to the, the mid, what is it, 1600s? Oh, that's definitely 1600s, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it's it's ridiculous. I mean, what would usually happen is the, the husband would find out that his wife was getting accused of a witch, and then they would think, oh, he's, he's, in, he's in cahoots with the devil. So uh-huh. they would burn him at the stake, day, or they would execute him. I mean, Guys, and their kids and things go to as well, by the way. It wasn't just right. the mother and the father. The kids got killed as well, because obviously they'll think that these things are generational. So if there's a, a lady who had a daughter, even if the daughter was just a baby, the baby would be killed as well, because they would think that that young girl or that young son was going to take the traits of their mum and dad and they would now become the witches of the town mm. and they would get murdered as well. It's, 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 really, it's a shame. It is. It's, I mean, there's Mike saying men could uh, weasel out of it, and that's mm-hmm. true. Men could yeah. weasel out of it. Yeah. All they needed to do is put their hand in the Bible and say, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and they would be let go. Yeah. But the women wouldn't they? They would either no. have to be dunked to no. death or hung, drawn and quartered or burnt or drowned. I mean, 
And see I, some of the ages of these girls. See when you do go back the database, guys. I mean, Chris gave me the link to the University of Edinburgh. That's where all the 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 looking into the witches' names and things w- was done. It was two girls from Edinburgh University that's actually decided to do this. And they should see some of the ages mm-hmm. of these girls. I mean, they're barely in their teens, some of them, because their mums were getting accused of being a witch and things. And their fathers. There was a local, um, what do you call them, where they do the horses. They do the... Is it a, they do a farrer, a farrer or something. Called, oh, right, I know what you're talking about. Horseshoes yeah. on the horses. Horseshoes, are, yeah. No, uh-huh. There was a man dragged out and murdered because he's... His daughter and his wife were being accused of being a witch, and they get killed, and they actually killed him just for the sake of killing him. And there, there yeah. was nobody else in the town could put the horseshoes on these horses and things. And that was the only one out of all the different cases that there was three or four people actually tried their hardest not to get the man killed as well because they needed him. They needed yeah. this man to do their horses and things, but not he get killed as well. Because they couldn't take the chance. People were in fear. And I don't yeah. know why. Because if they looked back and they seen that all these people that were, the genuine people that were helping people, the healers, the curers, the things like mm-hmm. that, these people that were genuinely helping people and they were being killed for it. When yeah. you look back all that, they were needed as well. So yeah. your horses were actually more needed than the ladies who could help you in childbirth help you if your kids have chicken pox and things like that. So it shows you that these people in these higher societies thought more of their horses than they did these girls. You see, I found it, I found it really interesting to talk about the camera. Yeah. Scottish Outlook, and you're helping me tonight. <laughs> he's quite an intelligent guy. He's, he's an intelligent guy, he's Scottish Outlooker, but it's quite interesting that you would say about the king. I watched, obviously, I watch a lot of stuff and and I, I, I just know this kind of stuff, and it was an interesting fact. What the king would do is, say the king, let's first say, got an unknown disease, right? Mm-hmm. We know what we're talking about here. Yes. He got a disease, right? <laughs> an itchy one. He, yes, an itchy one. <laughs> and um, he would get the women in, the witch, or the, the medical healer, how they were then. They would do their thing. He would get cured, right? Then a week later, she would be hung or, or she would be burnt at the stake mm-hmm. so as the secret did not get out. Yeah, that I mean, was what it was. It was so yeah. the secrets didn't they get out, basically. Yeah. yeah. And if you look yeah. back in the history books, there's a couple of these children actually survived. See the ones that was that was That's pregnant right. out of wedlock? A lot of the kids that was in the, the... Say, for example, if the lady was maybe nine months gone and the baby was actually born, they would take that kid off of the family. And he was felt that the boy or girl would be safe in the castles or whoever it was, the people in high society. But they wouldn't have any life. They would be like made be a slave or whatever. It's just that this they had to protect. They would either have to kill their own kid, oh, yeah. basically, or just take them off of the person and just give them a lower. Sometimes they're looked in attics and things. If you go back to the history books, you can see all this. Do you... oh, I was just going to say a lot of these illegitimate kids were either put to use as slaves or they were hidden in attics. Now I'm going to shock you here. Do you, and I don't know if I shock you, Drew, because you'll probably know about this, but the people in the chat, you do know in this, this the year 2022, this still happens. Mm-hmm. In certain states in Africa, they will yeah. actually go on witch hunts. They will find the so-called witch which is usually a healer, mm-hmm. and they will stone her to death. See, it's I mean, bad. it's not. They're, they're only other can. The only reason it can be in that circumstance is the secrets. Because why would you want to get rid of somebody in your local community who can help you when oh. you're going through childbirth? Help you with all these little things that which is no little techniques to do things and different healing methods and things that would save them money for going to doctors and save them money for buying big drugs that would cost them a fortune and things. Yeah. So why would you kill them? Obviously, well, there's, their secrets. Well, there's a message from Dakota. He's saying albino, albino children too in Africa. Yep. And you go to remember, it's not just witches that this happened too long ago. It was kids that were born with defects. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That were 
they were oh look at that child there that's got three hands that's that it's a mm-hmm. it's from the demon from evil devil let's burn them at the stake yeah i mean mm-hmm. i just god do you think he all the, the graves that must be hidden graves over scotland and england mm-hmm. and everywhere eh, all these poor victims that did not do nothing wrong. Yes, you might have had the, the odd few that, you know, worshipped Luc- Lucifer and uh, wow. the rest. But did you get something? It's terrible. And you know what happened. Some of the there. reasons is just that this world, oh. honestly. I mean, the reasons that these girls were put in front of, they were to- they, they, what I don't understand is, why the torture? If they were going to just kill them anyway, because all these tortures were aimed at killing them anyway. That's basically yeah. what it was. I think it, yeah, I think it was because they thought, right, they thought, right, this woman here, let's just hypothetically, Mary here, she has been cuckolding with the devil, she's possessed by Satan, so instead of burning her at the stake quickly, let's torture her, and maybe mm-hmm. we'll torture Satan in the process. No, it's not going yeah. to torture Satan, he's a spirit, you, you can't do that, right? It's not going to happen. It's, mm-hmm. it's, it's cruel. I mean, you look what happened in the Middle Ages in the 1600s, when normal people would get burnt to the stake, mm-hmm. and they would get drowned. And it's just, I, I, I just dread, when I sent you that article, in the, the Scottish Parliament, it, there must be over a hundred thousand more in Scotland. Oh, wow, wow. I mean, it's not that. That is the cases that we know about. That is the cases that these girls have actually figured. Well, girls, they've played these guys. They're probably about the same age as me. I don't know. Do you know what I mean? They're a wee bit younger. But these these ladies have actually found people. But what about the hundreds of people that were put in the history books that, that have been like buried in local fields and things or just burnt at the stake in their ashes and things, just been allowed to blow away? I mean, what about all they people? So well, why do they not put a monument in every other town? Like Lanark could cover all this area, Hamilton could cover all that area. Put a monument in every other town to dedicate yeah. to these people that didn't get their names put out there to be well, recognised. Actually, it's weird you said that because here's a monument. It's near Persia, um, and it's seemingly like there's meant to be a witch that was burnt at the stake right on the spot, and I think the it's ashes are meant to be. Is it Maggie yeah. Muffet, Chris? Uh-huh. I think so. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll close up one here. Let's have a look. Yeah. Maggie. Yeah, it's Wuff- Maggie think, Yeah, Maggie. Do you know about her? Do you know anything about her? I don't know too much about her, to be honest, offhand, but I have been looking at a couple of things with her. She's one of the famous people, that famous for being burnt at the stake, if you get me. She's one of the main names that crops up over and over again. Uh, I think she's just like one of the names that maybe somebody's picked at one point in time yeah. to study into, so she's like the first known case or something, I don't know, yeah. but I can definitely find out because she's, that was the girl that I tried, I started researching her way back, two years ago or something, I think she's said I'm yeah. um, and yeah. she was the first known name, I think, in that area that was reckoned that was meant to be a witch but found out later on yeah. wasn't a witch and things like that, so she's the famous name if you like Maggie Murphy. Yeah. Uh, and I would love to go to Dunfermline and do like a, even dedicate a, a couple of episodes to her because she deserves it, guys. She was one of these people that helped in the local community and different things like that. She wasn't really anybody. This day and age, she would have probably been somebody, if you like, a doctor or whatever. Oh, yeah. But in those days, she was just an old and people just threw her name in under the bus for a lot of things. I'm not going to want to say too much about it because I don't know facts, but I mean, she's one of the famous names out there. Yeah. I mean, it's no just there. I mean, look where you stayed, Drew. There was no. which getting burnt and hung and, and where I stay in Douglas. Yeah. Where that happened too. I mean, Lanark, there was a few burnt at the stake, I yeah. found out. You found yeah. out too. Yeah. But can you tell us then, do, do you know anything about the witches that were killed near you, Drew? Yeah, I mean, I've researched a couple of their names. I've not got their names offhand, but last week mm. when Chris did mail, mail me about what was happening in Scotland, about them getting a reprieve and things last year, 
um, the the government and things, giving them monuments and things. I started looking into it. That's why I went live on Monday just to do a quick yeah. awareness live, if you like. And I did. I looked into a couple of the names around here, and basically all the young girls were just drunks. They were drunks or mental health problems. Just money was tight. A lot of them were prostitutes, <coughs> things like yeah. that. And they just yeah. had affairs with people that. The one that one I was talking about was a, I think he was a school teacher. I'm sure he was a school teacher or something to do with the, the church or something. Yeah. She she could basically cult for being outspoken, an outspoken drunk. And a lot yeah. of these cases are like that. It's just because time was hard. People didn't have money, so prostitution was rife and things. And that's yeah. what they did. They went to the local tavern and spent their money, but people didn't like them. High society the, wanted them yeah. to help them. But they didn't want anything to do with them, and they, they killed them guys. Basically, that's it. They just went we, across the street one day grabbing people yeah. like you come with me. You're a witch. <laughs> you know that's what they well, have to give you. There's an interesting thing for Scottish outlook. Of, isn't there a witch's grave in Douglas? That's what I say. Uh, haven't seen it yet. And I know exactly what you're talking yeah. about, Ed, uh, Scottish outlook. Of, it's no a witch that. Well, I'll really quickly, when the plague was doing its rounds in Britain. There was a a traveller. Do you know how they had the travellers? The gypsies would ride along in the caravans that they had with the horses. And what happened was uh, she fell out of a horse and cart, and they went to it, and they found out that she had the plague. So they didn't want to bring her into the village. So what they did was, she died. I think it was about an hour after that. They burnt her carriage. They let the horses go. And they actually buried her in Douglas. There's a place, there's a stone. Mm. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's near a park called the Tunnel. The Scottish Outlooker will know exactly what I'm talking about. And it's up in the woods to the left. And there's a big stone. And it's actually a grave that's there. Mm-hmm. It's, it's actually quite interesting. I mean, I see at Crawford John, Drew. Did, did you people know that say that she was a witch, so they stayed away <clears> from the grave? Yeah. I mean, a lot yeah. of people maybe said away back then, oh, she was a witch, stay away from it, stay away from it. You know, oh, yeah. just so yeah. people want to get curious and get the plague. Yeah. That, that's, that's exactly why they said yeah. she was a witch, but it was because she had the plague. I yeah. mean, Crawford John, four miles from me. There's a that, few that, up there, oh. Chris, by the way. I, 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 I noticed that. There's yeah. a few. Yes. There, there must be about four or five witches that were born. Yeah. I think I there must have been a witches, family. Mm-hmm. Probably it's, a family that had gifts. The healing, maybe even gifts and psychic yes. awareness and things. Oh, that's that right. Place. That's right, Drew. Now, that is a good point. Yep. It's not just witches that were burnt at the stake or dumped yep. into well, the rivers. The it was people that could tell the future or it was people that could see dead loved ones or mm-hmm. spirits. That's why it was so... That is why it's only just now that people are starting to accept ghost hunting, tarot card readings, all these different supernatural things or paranormal things. That's why people are only just now starting to give it a bit of energy, if you like. It's because way back then, people were made to be scared of it. Yeah. You know, and I don't know why, because it's one of the most natural things that will ever come to you, is witchcraft. I mean, everything is to do with earth, the elements, everything that's around you that is natural and your natural healing abilities and things. It's about coming to terms with that in your mm-hmm. mind. Finding a way that you can use the peace within you, the love within you, to help other people. So I, I, I don't understand why these poor girls and, and men were tortured and made to say things that were totally against what they yeah. even stood for. It's a shame. I mean, it's really bad. Yeah, I mean, a lot... Although you've got to remember, a religion played a big part in this. The Christian religion and um, or the Catholic religion played a big part mm-hmm. in this. It, they thought Lucifer was behind the next door. They thought the devil was going to get you if you did the slightest thing wrong. Mm-hmm. This is what religion is. If the religion didn't exist, this probably wouldn't have happened. We sat there from Mike, Mike the Naked Bigfoot. Let's all bring that up now. A lot of actual witches who escaped to America settled in the Appalachian Mountains. That's actually very interesting. Well, where'd you go, huh? 
They probably that. had to go somewhere like that that was totally out of the norm. I mean, I bet you these people left, like say it was Scotland, I bet you these people left Scotland thinking that they were going to find somewhere where they would be accepted, get a fresh start with things. And then look what happens in America. I mean, I think it was America after us. I think they were after us with the witch trials. Um, that all happened yes. over there as well. So these poor people were going places to try and escape all of this religion and really seriously yeah. bad religion, you know, that was killing people, basically. You know, it's, to go to bed and it was happening over there as well. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, I, everybody's seen the films in America where the, the is it the pilgrims that were called the first kind of yeah, settlers. The of the, yeah. the I mean. There was the, the witch hunters that were called the witch hunters. Mm-hmm. They wore a, a funny hat, mm-hmm. a black, all in black. And they were like priests, except they were witch hunters, right? And yeah. this is this is all they would, they would go from town to town to town to town. And they would basically, nearly every town, they would burn someone at the stake. They, would they had the witch stake. prickers. Yes. Witch pr- prickers, sorry. Which was a man who went around with a, basically a needle... And if they pricked the person and they basically bled or whatever it was, screamed, they were a witch. <laughs> so they went to go and try. We were having a laugh about it on my live, actually, because I did think it said witch picker. But then we realised it says witch pricker. So basically there was somebody paid to go around there's, and poke these people. <laughs> there's Dakota Ferguson, witch peckers. Peckers. <laughs> well, they might as well have been because they were no good. <laughs> I just yes. think it's terrible that some of these girls were actually hung, drawn, and quartered before they were oh, burnt at stakes because they yeah. were admit that half their family and things were witches as well. Yeah, I mean it's 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 frightening. It's frightening what these some of the. I mean, I watched one, and it was at, it was at Edinburgh Castle. Mm. And they got the witch, and do you know which they did to her before they executed her? They hung, they hung drawn and quartered her, so they, they cut her open with mm-hmm. her entrails. Yeah. And they hung her up. Yeah. And exactly she was this, still this alive time. about an hour mm-hmm. after it. And then the burn her at the stake. I mean, See how the people cruel. standing watching these things, cheering and loving it, and saying, basically, more, get the next person up. They're more evil than the people that were actually doing this to. For them it's, to love and enjoy that type of thing is crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. It's exactly what the people in high society wanted. They wanted people to go against everybody that didn't have money, that could actually get money out of people, such as if you had a healing gift, you could go yes. and uh, get your crap, maybe get a, a penny or something for putting a plaster on somebody these days type of thing. So okay. they were jealous because they were jealous that these people could make money naturally with what was inside them, that they didn't have to go and learn something to earn their dollars and whatever. Mm. Uh, that's why it was a lot of it was based on actual jealousy. Yeah. Pretty girls as well. A lot of pretty girls would get murdered yeah. saying that she could put like spells on these men because a lot of people when they were looked at the young girls obviously a pretty face they would fall in love with her. So and a lot of these people thought that the girl was a witch because she had a pretty face. And also, see if the woman didn't get married. When she, and long ago, women got married when they were 14, 15, right? See if the woman didn't get a husband until they were 20. They were classed as something wrong with them and they mm-hmm. were a witch. So they got yeah. them to the stake. I mean, I think that's oh probably where a lot of people get scared, doesn't it? When they're turning 30 and things. That yeah. They, Oh no, I'm 30, I'm no married, oh no, oh no. Because of the old way of thinking, that if you're no married by 30, you're a spinster, and uh-huh. you've got all these, these assumptions put on you. And it's probably based on the old way of thinking about the witches. Because as Chris said, if you were at a certain age and you weren't married, there was something wrong. So yeah. a lot of people have took that through the generation and wondered, well, I'm not married, I'm 30. Oh no, what's going to happen to me? And that's what it is. It's that mindset that's been planted in people down the generations that if they don't get married by a certain age, there's something mm. wrong with them. And therefore, way back then, they were burnt at the stake and things for being a witch. Well, I'll take, you, I'll take you back to this picture again, right? And I mean, this is what they used to do to people. 
the, the you see the witch hunters in the background you have with the yes. big hats yes that's the there that's the witch hunters and oh my god you, you think look at what, that girl that lady there is obviously the mother it wanted this girl probably yeah. but i mean look yeah. how upset she's looking really i mean there's yeah. nothing you could do I mean, if they decided to hung, to do that to me, <clears> all our family and things wouldn't could do nothing. They would have to stand there and cheer along with the crowd, or they would be killed as well, if they weren't already lined up yeah. to be killed. I mean, you look at this picture, right? This picture is from... Um, uh, this, I downloaded it. This is actually from um, the Pilgrims, because they're actually dressed, the first kind of Americans. And you can actually see... You can actually yeah. see one of the, one of the, the audience... Could, getting carried away because they think he's, uh, yeah, I know he's, he's siding with the witch, which is yeah. in the stocks there. Uh, obviously our father's in the stocks there again. I mean, I mean, look at the young kid. The young kid is looking out the window mm. and things. I mean, this was a big event. This would happen like on a yeah. Saturday afternoon or something oh, yeah. so that the two town could attend it. It <clears> was <throat> to be made an example of the people. Yeah. And it was to be put out there that everybody that does this type of thing, they will be huh. killed and they will be redeemed as witches. And yeah. it, they make it sound as if it's something so bad. That's what gets me. It's like the same way Pastor Greg Locke that we were oh, doing yeah. what yeah. about a couple right. of weeks ago, guys. Mm-hmm. This is what he's trying to do. He's trying to bring back the old way of thinking. Yes. That these people that can do things like healing and see the future tarot readers and things like that are bad because mm-hmm. he's trying to make another movement he's trying to make a movement and they're not Christians, they're, they're a couple of other wee silly religions, no, not small religions but they're not Christians they're re- these other crazy religions and they're trying to make their own rules, their own set of standards that people in these communities have to live by if you want to be a member of his church for example You've got to make sure that you don't have anything in your past that's to do with the old witches and that's maybe right. you like your tarot reading now and again and things. You wouldn't be allowed to do anything like that or you would be oh. the next person through the back that trying guy, to get demons out you. That guy is absolutely out of order because I watched one of his videos, especially the ones in the wicker. Mm-hmm. And what he, he was actually saying that Everybody should get get together and go to people's doors. I mean, this mm-hmm. is this is, is a real witch hunt, and this is a dangerous yeah. thing because you know what the, the generations are like now. Yeah. The world do it, and we wouldn't have just be took into the local square these days and hung drawn and quartered right in front of people. We would just start disappearing off the streets. Yeah. I mean, is this why where all these people that's going missing is going? Is there people in his area that's been redeemed as witches and they've now disappeared? Mm. I mean, I think the government should keep a really good eye on him because he's dangerous. He is actually a dangerous person because people with mental health problems Mm. listen to him. They want an answer to some of these why things are not going right in the world. I mean, he blamed witches for the way the the world was and just yeah. recently, he's blamed us for that. He's blamed us for a lot of other things, but it's just totally crazy. And you know, you're like, why are you doing this? And do you want to know why he's doing it? It's because his wife <clears throat> was friends with three ladies in his community, <clears throat> his church community, who yeah. basically were healers. They could see into the future. And a, there was mm-hmm. actually one of them was accused of being a witch that he was shouting out in his church about. That's right. And there's a rumour that he actually either tried to get out of the girl or had been sending her like communication and she had went back and told his wife. So there's more to it than, than him just thinking everybody's witches. He's trying to get these three or six, whatever it is, this today, people yeah. uh, thrown out his community. And it's all because of him and his, yeah. his affairs. He's had affairs yeah. in the past. I mean, like there's... I mean, there's uh, Mike, the naked Bigfoot. Um, he's actually dealt with a number of the was it mega church leaders. Mega church leaders. Uh-huh. See, it, it, see, it's not just uh, Wicca, and it's not just psychics. It's people that are into voodoo, like Mike. It's mm-hmm. people that are not following. It's not following the Christian Bible. That's it. That is uh-huh. the enemy here. Yeah. I mean, you could go over there and you say, oh, I believe in the great man and his name's John, right? You could just make a mad religion up, right? Yeah. And then he would attack you for that, right? Yeah. 
it's the way the world is going. Mm-hmm. He wants his that, own following and his own cult. Mm-hmm. He want, and if you look at his past, he's got a quite a dodgy past, and I think he thinks that because he's had this dodgy past, he's using it as a way. He's like, look what God did for me. He's redeemed me. No, excuse me. You did that because you stopped committing crimes. Yeah. You know? <laughs> You didn't yeah. do it because the hand of God pushed that on you to stop it. You did it because you seen the error of your ways and knew that was wrong. And now you've came to a society where you're trying to blame people that did what you did way back then yeah. as being witches and people that's out to just make money and things like that. So why you're doing that? You did that. You you were a, actually a bank robber or something, I think he was. Something like that. And he is now telling people that he's that's maybe no got, got mental health problems. Nah. Maybe they're struggling in life and they've did some silly things. He is now condemning them for the things that he basically did. Maybe not just as bad as some of these people, but it's crazy. It's just a way of punishing people he's, because you're a narcissist. Yeah, yeah he, he's he's not just done that. He's he's did he's not just had affairs. He's other he's done. He's also hit his wife. I found yeah. that out yeah. and. And the story was that one of the members in the church, in the Bible study, was talking to she or his wife told her, right, and she mm-hmm. obviously tried to help her because she yeah. was in the working thing, and he found out, and it just shows you the dangers of people in this world. Yeah, I because mean, he's got a voice, <clears throat> yeah. because he's a man on a stage and can preach it, and people yes. will listen. It's very dangerous. Yeah, very I mean, dangerous. Yeah, I, it's. The, the Bible has been used to kill all the poor women, witches and men. It's been used to attack people, and it shouldn't be, you know? No. You know, and, and it's, it's sad, it's sad what's that for Dakota there. I've broken the nose off a few guys like that. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, Dakota. Right, right. It's more the generation that is coming up that you have to worry about as well because if they go back the history books and they've seen the way that the witch trials and things happened before it's going to stop a lot of people from actually taking this path and it helps you once you realise that you're supposed to be a witch especially when I've struggled in my past and I I, I know within my heart on my hand my hand and my heart sorry that if I had this path way back 20 years ago, I would never have done the things I did and went off my path. I would have stayed to my path and I would have stuck to it and I would have probably made a lot more of myself than starting yeah. at, what, 35, 40, whatever it was, and trying to, to be a, a witch now. If I only just knew a way back when I was mm-hmm. 16 that this was the path I was supposed to take, I would have caused what? a safe lot of heartache. It's a good job you weren't born in the 1600s, that's all I've got to say. Well, that's it. That's what I'm saying. Maybe you are. People scared. Maybe you are. Well, maybe, well, maybe you're reincarnated. You, you don't know these. I mean... Do you not <sighs> think it's weird, though, that um, where I stay now, the rumours in my town is that this is where like, people were burnt at the stake and there was witches. I mean, we knew this when we were kids, that there was yeah. meant to be witches in Les Nihago and they were burnt yeah. at the stake and things. And through like talking to people, it's meant to be like up around this area somewhere. So maybe, maybe I have reconnected to my my <laughs> ancestral self. Who knows? There's there's a there's a message from Dakota Ferg, uh, Ferguson. If Liam ne- Liam Nelson, what is that? Ne- Neeson, Liam Neeson. Can, uh, that's a kind of pronounce that there. Mm-hmm. Can grow in his fifties, so can you? Drew. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. It's, it's a bitch of summer, was it? It's just a shame that all these girls and things have suffered. For now in 2022, in fact, it was 2020, I think, this all happened, 2021. It's for now people to actually turn around and say, oops, sorry. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Is that it? That's why yeah. I want to try and get like a monument or something, even mm-hmm. if it is land or can not let me hate. Which is something to acknowledge that the suffering of these girls and men were uncalled for. Yeah. It's, well, maybe maybe we can do something. Maybe if enough is right in the RMPs, you know, if yeah, anybody's listening that. to this in the mm-hmm. podcast, say hey guys, right in the RMPs in, in Scotland and ask them what is happening 
about the witch trials are they getting a monument you know mm-hmm. yeah and it's, research your local area i mean i went on to that uh, university of edinburgh's website where they did the studies and it tells you the towns some of the towns have got their old name though like i think crawford john was crawford dyke and things like that there's different names but yeah. These days, I mean, you'll find it no problem, especially if you do call the university and ask. Because I'm thinking about doing it. I'm thinking about calling the actual university and just asking if I can speak to the girls that did, or the ladies that did these uh, studies to see well, if I can have a conversation with them. Well, I was actually looking online at the, one of the universities were actually showing you the, the type of things they used to torture them. Mm-hmm. And I wouldn't wish that in my worst enemy. Yeah. I mean, yeah. some of the some of the stuff that they did to them. I mean, I know you're talking about the fingernails right. getting cu- pulled out with pliers, but imagine getting well, put well, in. Well, there's the truth. Some stuff on it. Well, yeah, I know it's just that. It's just bad. Yeah. Just up with two minutes, guys. But who's all in the chat? Dakota's in the chat. He's on Facebook. Yeah. Mike. Mike, uh, listen, guys. I'm going to give uh, Mike the Naked Bigfoot one more quick push for his channel. Remember, give Mike the Naked Bigfoot a subscribe. Let's get into, uh, let's get Mike the Naked Bigfoot to 100 subscribers, guys, by Monday. I think. Guys, please subscribe to Mike the Naked Bigfoot. You've got no idea the amazing stories. Yeah. I don't even want to say stories because stories makes it sound not true. I mean, experiences this yes. guy has had. And Mike is an amazing guy, and he, he, he does these lives, guys. And he, he done one called the the Skinner Man, and I was sitting there in the dark watching this with my iPad, just listening to this live. And I was sitting, and I was um, I could feel my, you know how you get that weird <laughs> feeling as if something's there watching it. That's the kind of thing. Go and check his channel out. Absolutely. Could, uh, right. I don't know if anybody in the chat could post his link. I'll see if I can post um, uh, uh, some of the. And if there are no stories or experiences are amazing, and I want to interview yeah. him very quickly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping it comes to my chat in a couple of weeks, guys. Mike's at 97 subscribers, guys. Let's get Mike to 100 tonight. If anybody deserves it. it, he does because see yeah. the, the experiences he's had. A lot of these things we only think they're myths. And because Mike stays in the Appalachian Mountains or at the foot of yeah. the mountains, he knows a lot more than, than us normal people. If you like, it's the towns and cities and things. He's seen a lot. He's he got is, experience uh, with a tree. A oh tree yeah. that's in his heart that is a very interesting yes. story, guys. And I am not even going to tell you because I want you to go over and watch it and listen to him because it's yeah. very interesting. It's amazing. The, the tales, the tales that he tells are absolutely amazing, and honestly, yep. they are absolutely amazing. There's this link, guys. So true. please go and check it out. It's not as if they're not true. These are true, and he basically confront. When I watched his, uh, sorry that we're making this, <laughs> Mike. But see, when I watched his channel the other day, last yep. Sunday, I watched him the full day, and see some of the things that he talks about. About oh, sorry, we. Amazing. We have knowledge of them, but we never ever thought they existed or they've been called by another name. So it confirms a lot of things to people that's on this path. It, to me, it confirmed a yeah. lot of things to me that I always thought yes. was a myth, but it's not. I mean, I, I know tonight was is about the witch trials and stuff like that, but see, Mike, Mike knows all about this stuff. And it, Mike, yeah. if you're watching this right now, do a video on it for yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I was going to say because Mike was talking about the witches and things in Britain in yeah. different places who did go to America and the U. They thought it was a new life yeah. and they did go travel and things yeah. and try and find a better land. And then look yeah. what they walked into, guys. A lot of these, a lot of people think the um, slavery, for example, was no, uh, yeah. just the African community and things. A lot of us Scottish and Irish people went to find a better life in America yeah. and we were all ended up a lot of us ended up as slaves you it's know? actually quite interesting you brought that up obviously I was talking about Africa earlier on how they're mm-hmm. still doing witch trials but a lot of the, the Africans that went over to America obviously practised these mm-hmm. religious kind of you know their things and right. they were actually called for there and mm-hmm. they dealt with them and that. I think there should be some type of 
acknowledgement, I think, from the entire planet. Yeah. To stop yeah. this kind of behaviour, because it still goes on. No, no, just, no, just Africa. It goes on Saudi Arabia. It goes on all these type of other places. What's that from Mike the Naked Bigfoot? The re- what's this? Here we go. Bring this up. The reality of the supernatural and paranormal world is beautiful it's and terrifying. terrifying. Yes. It's very addictive being that scared. I took my grandson out a walk as I, as I showed you in my ad for a video yesterday. I wasn't even intending and turning the spirit box on, but he thought I was going to. Yeah. And I would never expose him to that type of thing because he is only seven. But the keenness of uh, Urzak at seven years old to find out more about the spirits, more about the witchcraft and things, it's amazing. And I would hate anybody ever to put a negative thought in his head about that and I'm not want to do it anymore. Because he's like a wee energy bubble. And I think Urzak is like a wee magnet to a lot of these entities. or Not entities, because that sounds bad, but to a lot of these kids' energies and things. And I think that he would be a benefit to us taking him out. Just wee locations, guys. <laughs> I would never think of a Birkwood or anything. But just silly wee locations, I think, and introduce him to it gently. And to think that if my grandson... That William used to, but not so much now. But to think that if yeah. my grandson ever takes this path, they want to maybe get a bit more spiritual, a bit more witchy, if you like, and yeah. for his generation to maybe that Pastor Locke decide that this is going to be a thing, and for oh, my yeah. grandson and things to maybe get punished for something so innocent yeah. really upsets me. That's why I, I want to do this. It's a terrible thing, but I would just like to say there's Drew's paranormal vlog uh, link in the chat. Let's get Drew you, up Drew. to yeah, let's get her up to what are you? Yeah, nine hundred. I'm at eight hundred and seventy odds, I think. No, eight hundred and twenty odds, I think. I can't remember. Let, let's get Drew up to nine hundred subscribers and look who's in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. Paranormal world investigators. She's Yay. on our holidays now in Texas. Hello, Texas. Even yep, Texas is having technology. a ball. Yeah. She's probably, She's, sitting with a cowboy hat. <laughs> She's probably sitting with a cowboy hat on the roof, you know, chilling all that good weather and stuff like that. Yeah. I hope you're having a lovely time. But tonight's been really good, guys. Is MD in the chat want to ask Drew any questions? Because we've got about 10 minutes left of the show. Yeah, of course. You know, I mean, um, you should I read a book. I just feel sorry. I just feel so bad for these girls. Some of them were teenagers, guys. See, when you do go back and you work out their dates of birth and things and you realise that some of these young girls were only like 16 years of age. Some of them weren't even 18 yet and they're being killed for something that their mothers and things were accused of or their fathers having an affairs with the local minister's wife was, yeah. do you know it could be reversed? I mean, the girl was the minister having an affair with the minister or the school teacher, yeah. but it can also be reversed. It could be the wife that was having the affair and the man gets killed, and because he had an affair, his wife would be killed and his children would be killed just yeah. to re- erase him from society, basically, yeah. because he's got secrets on these people. Yeah. Well, what he does come down to being secrets. I'm just reading the chat there, Paranormal World Investigators. Uh, what's that? Uh, what's that? About, um, what our ancestors went through was evil. Yeah, it was evil. What's that from Mike the Naked Bigfoot there? Um, my son used to tell his schoolmates that they would believe if they got bit in the arse by you the things they see. see. <laughs> well, I'm quite sure they would. But I, yeah. I want my kids and my grandkids to be educated in some of these entities and stuff. Why don't you... It's out there. Here's a a mad, radical idea for you, Drew. Why don't you write a book on Scottish witchcraft? Well, I could. I was going to do a documentary about it, to be honest. I was going to do it about Mr Mackenzie, and then this all got brought to my attention. So I have been thinking about doing, like, a... Try and get enough... Um, information to do a, a documentary look around this area to see if, how far we can dig and see if yeah. we can maybe get a couple of names of people <clears> that people in our society would know because they would know through the generations the name and things yeah. so it would be interesting I would love to do it as long as I information think about it I mean I think everybody in the chat would you think do you think Drew's paranormal vlog should write a book on Scottish witchcraft I, I think that would be 
yeah, I think just a lot of the information is hidden. You would have to really, really research it and mm. find people that could actually verify a lot of it through gossip in the towns. It would be mm. really good to get into, though. It would be something yeah. really good to, to put out there, it would. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we will be going ghost sister. hunting again. We will be going ghost hunting again, guys. Uh, me, Drew, and the Groovy yeah. Gang, um, as I call them. And <laughs> um, we'll be getting you some locations. We'll be popping up some videos, you know. But, um, yeah, it's been a good night to Drew. What's that? To quote, a fa- to quote in the chat what you're saying there, we can help make it happen, Drew. Yeah, the I know these can, boys. I know these can. You know. Well, we tell them who's coming, the exciting news who's all coming. No, no, we can't, we can't talk about that no, yet. No, we're not talking about it yet. Yeah. I was yeah, talking about my people, people. no, you're people. Oh, you're, oh I, thought, I thought that was the... No, 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 no. So when you go, no, oh, I you wouldn't give away any of that kind of well, nonsense, that kind of no, great I I, That's secret <laughs> service stuff, you're not allowed to talk about that. Yep. No. When you go to uh, detail. We've got Haunted Finders coming for an interview, guys. Hopefully it'll be next Saturday. Tom and Dave is coming for us to talk about Sherwood Forest, about all their experiences in Sherwood Forest and the haunted forests around Nottingham. Uh, and I've also got Lady Gravedance and Crescent Moon coming on as well. I need to work out the time difference for them because they're in Texas, so I will have to work out the time difference. But yeah, guys, we've got a lot of amazing people coming on. It is really, really interesting. So yeah. I would like you to get your comments in because we need questions for yes. this. Remember, Drew, get some dead cheese no, strolls. No, Dakota, long ones, yeah. Please throw away Dakota. No, nothing. Yeah, Dakota, Dakota, you would see a witch trial again in Scotland. He would, yeah. come, off the pl- he would come off the plane. <laughs> I'd need to run. <laughs> You'd need to fly. He would catch yeah. you. I've got a vision of this guy running <coughs> chasing after you. But it's been it's been a really, really good night tonight, guys. And tomorrow night we've got for contact, we've got a friend, an old friend coming back to the live. Uh, Lewis is coming back to the live tomorrow. So the inner truth is his channel. So we'll be um discussing UFO sightings in this area because yeah. we have got some amazing footage for you guys. So I have just tape. found out that Scottish Outlooker was in my local shop tonight. Hey Drew, thanks for letting me go in front of you in the shop tonight. That was me, you laugh out loud. I saw your hoodie. So, sorry I didn't have a chance to say hello. Everyone was chatting to me at the same time. Scottish, I didn't, I wouldn't even know you if I passed you in the street. He's, 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 you were standing behind in a shop. Oh, see, 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 my co, see my co-host. I can show him. Scotty Potato Head. He's doing this chat down here, ladies and gentlemen. If you're looking for an adoption, uh, Dakota, I'm, I'm giving <laughs> him away um, for a measly sum of five p. Um, <laughs> oh no, I know it's too expensive. We'll make oh, it a penny, oh, you know. Uh, right. <laughs> so, ladies, so, up in no problem. No problem. <laughs> so, right, I'll close the show off and I'll catch you all tomorrow night guys so catch you later guys bye bye thanks everybody